Yo, what's going on guys? So King's Court finally came out with their cards. I've been waiting for these for a while as uh, they look super cool. I hope they're actually good. If you guys are excited about the King's Court cards, drop a like on this video. But in addition to that, Lightning Storm getting a reprint plus a lot of awesome stuff. So you definitely want to stay till the end of this video to see all the announcement plus, of course, the world premiere. So let's go and check out the cards and see if they're any good. And then I've got all of the reprints that are basically worth money that you guys will be looking forward to. But anyways, starting right off, let's check out the newer Yu-Gi-Oh! cards because that's probably why most of you guys clicked on the video so starting right off we have arcana trump joker uh, by the way we're going to be using this website instead of the org page because the org pages they don't have all the images loaded in yet but we got it from the uh, db uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card website anyways uh arcana trump joker so it says if this card is in your oh well, let's go over its stats so it's a light level 10 warrior effect question mark attack 2500 defense points and it says if this card is in your uh hand or graveyard you get to send one queen's knight king's knight and jack's knight from your hand and or face up monster zone to the graveyard so some of this card this card gains 500 attack times the combined number of cards in both players hands you can discard one card to destroy all face up cards your opponent controls with the same type monster spell or trap as the discarded card okay that's very interesting um too bad the effect was on a quick effect then we'd be actually looking at something good but maybe it'll make sense later down the line because i want to say these hopefully will become like playable it might just be a collector's thing but we'll wait and see let's check out the next card joker's knight so it says you uh, it's a light level five warrior effect 2000 attack 1400 defense points you can send one queen's knight king's knight jack's knight from your deck to the graveyard to sparse on this card from your hand and if you do this card's name becomes the sent monsters name until the end phase during the end phase if this card is in your graveyard you can target one other light warrior monster in your graveyard shuffle it into the deck and if you do add this card to your hand you can only use each effect of joker's knight once per turn next card is imperial bower it is a light level four warrior effect 1500 attack and 1500 defense points it says if you control no other monsters you can attribute this card to take two different monsters from your deck among queen's knight king's knight and or jack's knight and either add it to your hand or special summon each monster you can only use this effective imperial power once per oh this basically is like a it's almost like a rescue rabbit for the archetype okay that's really good for, obviously for them and then next up we have joker's straight so it's a spell card that says discard one card just special summon one queen's knight from your deck and add one king's knight or jack's knight from your deck to your hand then immediately after this effect resolves you can to normal summon one monster normal summon one monster you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of the turn except for light warrior monsters during the end phase if this card is in your graveyard you get to target one light warrior monster your graveyard shuffle into the deck and if you do add this card to your hand you can only use each effective joker straight once per turn next up we have face card fusion it says fusion some one light warrior fusion monster from your extract using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, you can use one monster from your deck as fusion material. You can activate one face card fusion per turn. They have one like fusion card. It's pretty like mediocre. It's like really old. Um, it'll probably get reprinted in here, but let's see if they get anything else for a newer support because so far it's not looking like an S tier deck. <laughs> but next up we have Thunder Speed Summon. It's a spell that's a quick play. It says during the main or battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, Normal summon a level 10 monster, or if you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight, you can apply this effect instead. Add a level 10 dark monster with question, oh, non-dark monster with question mark attack from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you get to normal summon one level 10 monster. Oh, that's a really interesting effect. Um, obviously you would have to have like those summon conditions but maybe you can get something out weird that's not specifically for them because it is a quick play there might be some weird things people will try out with this i like this card next up though we have joker's wild during the main or battle phase send one spell from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all of i'm just gonna say queen king and jack now just so it's a little bit faster so i don't have to say knight every single time so uh, that lists all uh all of queen king and jacks uh this effect becomes the spell's effect when that card is activated during the end phase if this card is in your graveyard you can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard shuffle it into the deck and if you do add this card to your hand you can only use each effect of joker's wild once per turn next up with court of cards you control no monsters or only control queen king and or jack you can special summon one queen king or jack from your hand or graveyard you can banish up to one each queen king and or jack from your hand or graveyard draw the same number of cards you banished you only use one quart of cards effect per turn only once that turn okay so that's just trying to make it so you have like some way to maybe go for like okay i'm just drawing cards and 
going for it. I don't know how many of these vanillas you would play. Technically, you get to reset the cards with some of their effects, but playing a lot of vanillas is dangerous in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it opens up doors for bricks. Um, Magnet Induction, though. It's, oh, oh, Magnet Warrior Support, too? Wow. If you control a Magnet Warrior monster whose original level is four or lower, it's supposed to one four lower Magnet Warrior monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Also, for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, Magnet Warrior and Magnet Warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effect. You can only activate one Magnet Induction per turn. You know, I mean, th those Magnets, I didn't think that they were that good. I think they're not that bad. So if they get actual, like, good support in here, they could actually become, like, a slightly viable deck but let's go ahead and see what the other support is oh we got xyz dragon cannon support too wow this is like just all fan service huge fan service support if you control a xyz dragon cannon or a fusion monster that lists X, uh, xyz dragon cannon as material activate this effect um, as material to activate this card's effect. This card's effect depends on whose turn it is. So if it's your turn, you can target one of your banished union monsters and place it on the bottom of your deck, and then if you do, draw a card. If it's your opponent's turn, you can discard any number of cards and target the same number of cards your opponent controls and destroy those cards. You can only use uh, this effect of uh, XYZ Hyper Cannon once per turn. The other effect is actually pretty good, considering this is also a continuous effect, by the way. That is really, really good. It's a continuous trap card, okay. We even have, wow, is this like Relinquish Support, Thousand Eyes? Golden Eyes, Golden Eyes Idol. Uh, dark level, one Spellcaster, zero, zero. Uh, once per turn, as a quick effect, you can activate this effect by uh, looking at your opponent's hand. Also, this card's name becomes Thousand Eyes Idol until the end phase. If this card is banished, uh, or sent to the graveyard by card effect, you target one effect monster your opponent controls. Equip that effect monster to one eyes restrict or relinquish monster you control that cannot be normal summoned. While equipped by this effect, that monster gains attack equal to the attack of the uh, equipped monster. You can only use each effect of golden eyes idle per turn. Wow, you get to look at your entire opponent's hand. I think that that is really good. I mean, obviously you lose out on your summon, right? Unless there's like other ways to bring this card out. Being able to see your opponent's hand and then also, I mean, that is a quick effect, being able to look at their hand. Oh, that's, but it has to be banished or sent to the graveyard by a card effect. So I'm guessing you'd have to like also like quick play, send it, get that effect, right? It has some potential. I don't know. Someone will figure out how to break it, right? Next up, we have Zolga the Prophet. It's a earth level four fairy effect. It says if you control an earth fairy monster, except for Zolga the Prophet, you can special summon this card. Uh, from your hand and look at up to five cards from top of each player's deck with a monster that was normal summoned by tributing this card declares an attack you can banish this card from your graveyard to destroy that monster and if you do inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent you can only use each effect of soul with a profit once per turn okay, so next up some of these cards are going to be the first time that we're getting here in the tcg like utopic draco future technically we already have this is an alternate little artwork you guys can see the picture over here but some of these cards will be the first time that we're getting them in the tcg but there are going to be newer cards here so i'm just going to continue the list although i know that some of these effects have been technically revealed before as uh cards in the ocg but uh anyways we have uh uh, Guilty Gear Freed. Oh, I love that. Guilty Gear? Um, the Magical Steel Knight. So it's a light level 8 warrior fusion effect, 2700 attack, and 1600 defense points, and requires uh, two warrior monsters with different attributes. And it says once per turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card as a quick effect, you get to negate that effect. And if you do, destroy one card on the field. If this card was fusion summoned using only monsters on the field as material can make a second attack during each battle phase once per turn if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation as a quick effect you to banish a spell from your graveyard this card gains attack and uh uh equal to half its current defense until the end of this turn and then crystal girl if this card is normal or special you get to activate this effect during the end phase of this turn add one level five or higher water monster from your deck to your hand if you control a level five or higher water monster and this card is in your graveyard you can just special on this card but banish it when it leaves the field you can only use each effect of crystal girl once per turn the stats are pretty much irrelevant but it is a level one water spellcaster so yeah you go one for one with it it could be interesting to get that effect Next up, another uh, newer card over here for the TCG, Tenegal Dolls. Uh, so, uh, dark level five, flip effect, thousand, thousand. Flip effect is to send a spell slash trap from your deck to the graveyard. And then if this card is um, sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you get to target one Tenegal monster in your graveyard, except for Tenegal Dolls. Uh, spell summon it in face down defense position. You can only use 
the each of the preceding effects of Tintangle's dolls once per turn. If a Tintangle Link monster that uses card as material can make three attacks during each battle phase. So OTKs is the goal with that one. Next up, Rose Princess. If your opponent uh, if only your opponent controls the monsters, you can spell summon this card uh, from your hand. If summoned this way, treat it as a tuner. You can only spell summon Rose Princess once per turn this way. And then also you can discard this card, add one white rose cloister from your deck to your hand. It's a level three plant effect at 1200 attack. This stats probably don't really matter on this one. Uh, next up we have Morph King Strigel. It's a dark level one fiend tuner, 100, 100 for the stats. If this card is normal or special, you, uh, you can target one other face-up monster in the field. You can't spell some monsters from the extra deck except for synchro monsters for the rest of the turn. Also change this card's level to the level of that target. And if you do gain life point equal to that target's level times 200. During your main phase, you can spell some one fiend monster from uh, with a level lower than this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Morph King uh, Stigigel once per turn. And then we have White Rose Cloister, which is part of the other card. If you control no monsters, you can spell summon a Rose Dragon um, or one plant monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of White Rose Cloister once per turn. During your draw phase, before you draw, you can declare one card type. Monster Spell Trap, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it is de declared card type, apply this effect for the rest of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. Level seven or higher synchro monsters you control gain a thousand attack, okay? Next up, we have Burning Soul. If you control level eight or higher synchro monster, you get to add one card from your, uh, from your graveyard to your hand, except for Burning Soul. Then immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon using monsters you control as material. For the rest of the turn after this card resolves, your opponent cannot target synchro monsters on the field with uh, card effects. You can only activate one Burning Soul per turn. Then we have a uh, Hyper Galaxy Tribute. A, it's a quick spell, quick play. Tribute one monster with 2,000 or more attack, except for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. The target a monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or more attack. Tribute it, and if you use special like Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard, you can only activate one Hyper Galaxy per turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, pendulum Transfer, uh, target up to two Pendulum Monsters you control. Place those targets in your Pendulum Zone. You can only activate one Pendulum Transfer per turn. That could be pretty good as well. We have Pendulum Exceeds. Uh, target two cards in your Pendulum Zone. Special Summon both targets, but negate their effects. Then, immediately after this effect resolves, Exceed Summon one Exceeded Monster using only those two monsters. When you do, you can treat the level of one of the monsters as the same as the other monsters. You can only activate one Pendulum Exceeds per turn. Okay, that's pretty cool too. Then we have the Dowsing Fusions. Fusion Summon one Fusion Monster from your extra by banishing fusion materials uh, listed on it from your graveyard. Only pendulum monsters can be used as fusion material for this card's effect. You can only activate one dowsing fusion per turn. Then we have Eternal Bond. Take any number of photon monsters in your graveyard to spell some of them, but their effects are negated. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one photon monster your opponent controls. Take control of it, and if you do, its attack for the rest of the turn becomes the combined original attack of all photon monsters you currently control. Also, you cannot declare an attack this turn except for with with that monster. You can only use each effect of Eternal Bond once per turn. Okay, and then we're now moving into a bunch of the reprints. There we got Grave Keeper, Spy, Majestic Dragon. Um, I'll go over like the highlights over here that are like the money cards. Surprisingly, Scrap Twin Dragon uh, has been reprinted in so dang long. Then for the most part, uh, I will just go ahead and give you guys like the cards that you guys are mostly interested in. But there is a card that I'll, I'll scroll down here because you guys will be pretty excited about. I already kind of spoiled it in the video, which is Lightning Storm. This is a fantastic, fantastic card that uh, you guys will also have. Um, but I think a lot of you guys want to know like, what are the money cards in this set um, that are getting reprinted? So ZW Leo Arms is about like 20, uh, 15, 20 bucks. We've got the Scrap Twin Dragon is about like eight bucks. Uh, number fortune, uh, number 49, Fortune Tune. Uh, this is just another card that hasn't had a reprint. Obviously, Lightning Storm. It's going to be dropping in price uh, very, very fast because it's, I mean, it still probably will hold some value, but I know that it's like the first time it's actually getting a reprint, right? Uh, and then also Zen Mayo. That card never got a reprint in uh, Orc. And then also Dolka getting a nice little uh, print over here. So it was like a $10 card. So that's pretty much going to be the money cards in terms of like what's valuable in here. So for reprint wise, I would say there are 
are a lot of really nice cards in here to get reprinted. Lightning Storm is specifically the chase card in here, I would say, unless for whatever reason they short print some of these like cards and they're just like really rare for collectors. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of it. Let me know down below in the comment section below what you guys think of the new like Knights cards. I think that they are very underwhelming. This is a great reprint, but like King's Court is really cool for the artwork. But unfortunately, I don't see them being anywhere near competitive at all. It's just going to be for collector purpose. At least that's my thoughts. If you guys are like, yo, I know an OP broken combo. Yo, I would love to see it. Feel free to go and send in a replay file uh, over on the Discord. Or you can send it in an email uh, once the cards come out on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Because I want to see gameplay of it. But I just think it's going to flop to like every single thing. But anyways, let me know your thoughts again down below. If you guys are new here and do want to be up to date on it, I might get you guys some gameplay. I'll, I'll try the deck. I think it's going to be rough though. But if you guys are new here and do want to see... Uh, more new Yu-Gi-Oh content, hit subscribe, turn the bell, and you'll definitely see more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.